Manchester United make decision on Anthony Marshall's future. Manchester United have reportedly made a decision on Anthony Marshall's future at the club as the Frenchman approaches the end of his ninth season at the club. As the case has been for most of his stay at the club, Marshall's 2023-24 season has been plagued by injury and there is no guarantee that he will be fit again before the end of the season. Marshall's contract at the club expires at the end of this campaign but the club does have an option to extend that deal for an additional year. Now, it is being reported that Marshall could have played his final game for the club as Football Insider report that United will allow the former Monaco star to leave for nothing this summer. As per the report, it has been decided by the club that the clause that would trigger a 10th year at Old Trafford will not be exercised. It's added that United are eager to reduce their hefty wage bill, with that being a major influence on the decision to let Marshall go. Marshall has made 13 appearances in the Premier League this season but just five of them were starts, his departure is unlikely to have a significant impact on Ten Hag's squad structure. Rasmus Hodgland's introduction at the start of the season almost certainly ended his hopes of returning to the fold permanently there and then. Hodgland's strides recently have further cemented his place as the side's undisputed number one in attack. Eric Ten Hag issues Casemiro injury update after clash of heads in Fulham defeat. Casemiro was back in the side for this weekend's visit of Fulham at Old Trafford, having been withdrawn at halftime at Luton Town last week. The Brazil international was, however, withdrawn early again after an unfortunate clash of heads with Fulham midfielder Harrison Reed. Casemiro wanted to continue but was taken off the biomedical team and speaking after the game, Eric Ten Hag provided an update on the 32-year-old's health status. I don't know if it's concussion but it's definitely head-to-head, -head, Ten Hag is quoted as saying by the official Manchester United website. I actually don't know, the issue, but he had to come off. He had to come off so we have to speak with the doctor, and the medical team, to see how he's doing. He couldn't continue the game. We have all seen that. We had to take him off and, hopefully, he's better by tomorrow. Thankfully, head injuries are under the microscope and are treated with added care compared to in the past and Casemiro will be given the time to recover fully. In the update posted by the club, it is stated that Casemiro will be assessed to determine the extent of the issue but for now, he joins United's long list of injury absentees. In the last week, Luke Shaw and Rasmus Hodgland have all reserved their seats in the treatment room. Mason Mount, Tyrell Malaysia, Aaron Juan Bissaka, Lisandro Martinez and Anthony Marshall are also on the sidelines. Eric Ten Hag explains why he waited until the 99th minute to bring on Anthony in Man United defeat. Eric Ten Hag has challenged Anthony to step up after leaving the £88 million signing on the bench until the 99th minute of Saturday's demoralizing 1-2 home defeat against Fulham. United had roared back into Champions League qualifying contention on the back of four straight wins, but were handed a sobering dose of reality by Alex Iwobi's injury time winner. Despite the absence of Rasmus Hodgland due to injury, Ten Hag found no room for the most expensive recruit of his reign in his starting 11, instead handing a full Premier League debut to Omari Forsen. The teenager's afternoon was brought to an end after 52 largely underwhelming minutes, but even then Ten Hag resisted the temptation to introduce Anthony to the fray. Indeed, it wasn't until Iwobi put the visitors back in front that Ten Hag saw fit to hand Anthony a chance and what a desperate last throw of the dice. It was nothing to do with fitness, Ten Hag said when asked why he left it so late to bring on the Brazilian. He is fit but we have many options on the right side where we lack in other positions due to injuries. The foreman Antony we all have seen and he has to step up. I see it in training but also other Omari and Ahmad Diallo and Garnacho deserve to play. We struggled with their influence and their impact on our left side. But we reacted well and how to deal with it, how to step up from the back and once we had that we got more from the game and took control to create the chances, Ten Hag added following a reslot that leaves United's top four hopes in tatters. With the squad we had today we should have won this game. Both halves were slow starts and we should be ready from the first whistle. That's a point of criticism but the team showed big character in both halves.